So if you're a CG artist that uses Maya, you're most probably wondering, when will 2018 be released? Everyone is super excited, we all want to see the new features. I have to say, wait no longer, Maya 2018 is officially out now. Let's see what they did. So if you're coming from Maya 2017 or the extensions from 2017, you would notice that there's actually no new changes here. The interface still remains the same. There's just a couple of uh, primitives that's been added. Mm, these primitives, I think they are just there to help you get some shapes and some things done. I actually think they're fancy because uh, before now, artists has always found a way of going around them. A couple of them are the ellipse, the harmonics, the platonics, the gears. They are nice. Actually, what I think is one of the best things that they've done with this release is the they did a whole lot of bug fixing. If you're if you've been using Maya for a while, you would know that Maya has certain bugs that not everyone talks about. But they fixed a lot of bugs. They really fixed so many bugs within the extensions they released. And right now, if you're looking for something too much, I actually would say if you'd use 2017 and you're using this version, you would really find out that they fixed a whole lot of bugs. That is number one. I give them credits for that. Um, one of the best things I also like about this new release is the UV. The UV toolkit is amazing. If you've not used it before, I would advise you to use it. People coming from the extension release, from the update 3, sorry I kept saying extension, from the update 3 they will say and they will attest to the fact that the new uh, UV toolkit is super cool. I would also go ahead to say if you've been using Marsh, they added one more extra node to this, which is called the dynamic node. You can create your dynamics right out of the bat, like that, like you can create them right there in Marsh. I'll do a video and I'll put a link somewhere when I'm done with this video. Despite that, there's uh, just a couple of other things that they've added, which are not so, so prominent. I actually think that a lot of things that they added in this release are quite fancy. One other thing I would have skipped is Maya 2018 by default is using the viewport 2.0. The node network, for example, we want to have the kind of node that Houdini has. We've always wanted, and honestly speaking, I was thinking that in this release, we were going to have that. And some other thing we would have wished to get is we need a quick menu. We do not have a quick menu. You know, like if you've, if you've, if you've used Blender, if you've used 3D Studio Max, if you've used Cinema, if you've used Houdini, there is a quick menu. There is a quick menu. It could either be you pressing the backspace and something pops up like that, or you pressing the tab key and something pops up. You know, something that would help you walk faster, not memorize the menu. There is one that is out there. It's called Cosmos. It's actually a plug. And I would say that if they can incorporate something like that, that would be nice because what Cosmos does exactly, I'm not paid for this, but what Cosmos does is it goes through the whole nodes you have in Maya and once you type one thing, it pops it out for you and you can go ahead and use it. And we do not have a good node system. We have a node system, but it's quite tedious. If you've used node systems, if you've used node systems in Blender, if you've used node systems in Houdini, you would find out that the one we have in Maya is super, super tedious. So, what are your comments about this new release? What do you think I missed out? Do you think they did a wonderful job by fixing the bugs? Or do you think they would have done a little bit more by adding more features to this? Put your comments down there. Like this video if you like it. Share this video if you want someone to see what you've just seen. And don't forget to subscribe because there's more.